On my previous video, I took a taxi from Bushbakrish town to Nelspreet where I boarded the Intercape bus to Mozambique. I just crossed the Limpopo border from South Africa into Mozambique. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Purity Kosa. I'm still on the road to my destination, Maputo City. You guys, it is done. I got the stamps now. I felt so stupid. I was, if it wasn't for that guy I was walking with, I don't know what I would have done because I was clueless. I remember after stamping at the South African side, I thought we were going to go back into the bus again uh, to get to this other side. So apparently you have to walk all the way. Whew. I need to lose weight. Oh my God. <sighs> that was a walk. If you haven't watched part one of this trip, I recommend you do so. The link is on the description box below. And if you have done so already, welcome back to part two of the journey. With all honesty, I didn't expect the border to look like this. I think it looked very basic and simple. For such a very busy port of entry, I was expecting to see very sophisticated buildings, military presence with search dogs, and so on. Also, these residential houses are right outside the border, of which is completely different if you compare with the South African side. So guys, we are now It was so quick, quicker than I expected it to be. And now we are just, I don't know where we are, but uh, there's lots of trucks on the road still. I just wanted to show you the residential houses on the side, but all you see now is just the trucks. The distance between the border and Maputo is about 100 kilometers and that will take us somewhere around two hours or even less depending on how many times we stop and how fast the driver drives. So guys, Maputo is actually not that far away from my home. It's actually just four hours and 30 minutes from Bushpark Ridge. For the bus fare, I only paid about 300 rand only. I'm actually doing this whole trip on a budget meaning I'll spend as little as I can for the entire trip, including the accommodation. I'll be staying in a hostel instead of a hotel.
This Google Maps is not updating the time left to get to Maputo. That's because it's the offline version. I don't have the Mozambican SIM card yet because I didn't get a chance to do that at the border. Guys, welcome to Matola. That shopping mall over there looks very similar to some shopping centers back in South Africa. Even though there's so much familiarity in the environment, it still looks like a different country to me. I can't really explain it, but maybe it is the cars, the number plates, and some of the car brands, we don't have them in South Africa, or we don't have many of them. So back to the similarities. I see they have a king pie, they have pep stores. These stores are typical South African stores. You will notice that in some intersections they don't have traffic lights or traffic circles instead there is a traffic cop directing the traffic i'm not sure if these cops are stationed here permanently if you know please leave a comment let us know guys we are still in Matola I think Matola is a province I think this area looks like a township back at home many townships back in South Africa have three parts to them the good the bad and the ugly and this one looks like the good part We have now arrived at the first bus stop. So this is the first bus stop since we left the border. This stop is not for us to take a break, but it's for other passengers to disembark. To make sure I don't get off at the wrong station, I keep on checking my map. <laughs> 
It is very important for you to withdraw some money before you leave South Africa because you might not get a chance to do that. Before leaving Matola bus station, I made sure that I exchanged my rents into medicals in case I need to pay for taxi. Uma vez são raios do luar E lei e fé e fé e fá Reino dos orixás Reino dos orixás Oh, oh, oh Remember when I said townships in South Africa have the good, the bad and the ugly? This section here looks like the ugly part. No offense to anyone staying here. I'm referring to those shacks next to the road. Welcome to Maputo. Finally, we are here. And that in front of us is the most beautiful and famous Katembe Bridge. You may be asking yourselves, why do I say Katembe? You know, usually people say Katembe. I mean, I'm a black person, a Tsonga person, and the name is Tsonga. So yeah, Katembe. This bridge connects Maputo and Katembe on the other side. Before this bridge existed, the fastest way to get to the other side was via ferries. We are now in Maputo city center. So many buildings here are hotels. I think it's because Maputo is very popular to tourists. And that big, beautiful blue building is the Reserve Bank of Mozambique. From a distance, you can tell that it is the most important building around.
show me the way. Okay, Monday full of GPS. Yeah. I get we like. So we are on a tuk tuk for the first time. Huh? I'm, it's my first time in a tuk tuk. Really? Yeah. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Samora <laughs> Michelle. Yeah. What's the name of this road? Uh, 25. It's in the temple. Okay. 25 the temple. Okay. So Ka Avenida Samora Michelle, you're gonna go to the right. So stay on the right lane. The street names were a bit confusing for me, so we got kind of lost. But we managed to find the exact location of my hostel. So you're gonna go left, stay on the left lane. I can confidently say I do not like tuk-tuks. The whole time I was holding on for dear life. Um, <laughs> Guys, we are here, but whew, I can't believe it. I got scammed. So the Chopella, so the tuk tuks here are called Chopellas. He took 560 meticals. That's crazy. I'll convert it for you. It's a lot of money. So he took advantage of the fact that I'm not from around and I'm carrying a lot of luggage. And yeah, finally I'm at the place. And everywhere I say I speak Donga, they don't know what that is. <laughs> they know Shchanga. So from now on, I'll never say Donga as Shchanga. So yeah, the advantages of traveling to Mozambique when you're a Zonga person is that the language is easy, you know? I don't have to know Portuguese. So guys, we are here. Uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So this is the bed. The bed that I'm going to be sleeping on. Looks basic. Exactly what I've been looking for. Everything is very clean and I'm going to be sharing with other people.